Hello and welcome today, folks, to the 2000 View Party, hosted by Hobo Tom. And what we have here, we have a little connect, little um, WWE 2K17 gameplay. Here we have the Cuba Connection. Again, for the international, international Lucha Tag Team Championship. So here you have. Um, yeah, you saw their names in the first. This is again the Cuban connection. El Sicario and Iho. The Tequila Del Sol. Oh, my cat's getting confused. And again, this is a Mexican Tornado Death Mask. Cheese I'm trying to make a video here. What, what, what are you doing? She obviously wants to be a part of the action. I don't know. Again, oh, who's our first opponent ever? <laughs> wow, returning! The Lucha Dragons. Who, who could have foreseen this? Yes, and we have a special guest kind of walk by. Even Cheese was amused by this. And I think a little bit different from last time. I might have to... Come over here. Yep, I'm gonna kind of keep the volume kind of at set levels. I know I have some other music playing. Hopefully, I won't get copyrighted again. That's just dumb. So eventually, I'm gonna lower both levels. But again, this is for the prestigious. Let's see here. I don't know if they're gonna cut to title shot or not. Wait, let's see here. Care. There we go. Nice shot. The nice tag tiles. The Cuban connection. Is the recording. Oh wait, what's what's this? Oh! Oh, here we go again. Wait. Oh, the Cuban connection is taking dominating control of this match. Oh, and listen, it's not a mess game death match unless you bring a couple of chairs into the ring. That sounds like a good idea. You can see it's Dragons won? Oh, wait a second. What the heck? I'll just tell Jorge to blame Michael. Wow. That 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 was quick. That was weird. And they're the first ever. <laughs> Wow, that wasn't a long match either. Oh, 
Yeah, lower that a little bit. So this will be interesting again. Steel cage matches are, are odd. See, I always forget who comes out the champion or the challenger. This has been a weird card so far. Oh wait a second, the champion comes out first. Wait a second, where's this Predator Vision? <laughs> that belt looks good. Taj! Wait a second. I wonder if he has to vacate that, that NXT championship belt. I don't know who to do for it. Or did I just assign it to him? That'll be the next show, I guess. That's a darn good looking belt. The always underweight belt. They have the music going a little bit. I can't play it too loud. That's a nice looking belt. And here we go. We're all along for the ride on this one. But make no mistake about it, we're going to have a winner. Well, that'll be a lot of attitude here because look at the size of those ears. <laughs> the time for talk is over and done with. Let's give the people what they came for. And Michael, with the championship on the line, you know these guys are going to do whatever it takes to leave here with it. But here's the thing. You have to perform if you want to bask in that WWE glory. Let's talk about the challenger for a moment. That's it. He's out. He's starting to stagger a bit. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. And hey, I still can't believe oh, just baby a for this. Beating. And he gets out of the way. This might be it. Executed perfectly. Oh, and that was a look finisher. Of satisfaction in those eyes. Hey, look at it. And it's up. He got the shoulder up. He's on his heels. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. Well, at this point, I believe that this is still anyone's match. This is the WWE, after all. Yeah, this is a toss-up. But hey, I have a feeling the WWE Universe is in for a treat tonight. Now, who does a methodical pace benefit, Kank? Well, I'll tell you, whenever the dominating competitor takes his time, it gives everybody a chance to catch their breath. Not this. He's looking at it again. you got to believe this one's over. Will it be? And the shoulder's up now. That's a kick out. Nice. There's no keeping this guy down tonight. What do you have to do to keep this guy down? When he gets going like this, there are a few better. Oh, wait, nice reverse. What a counter that was. Avoids the impact there.
championship on the line. Oh, well, you're right about that. Let's get, look at this. Let's get, and the shoulders up now. That's a kick out. Nice. He's showing the heart of a warrior here tonight. Not this. He's looking at it again. Oh, my gosh. Going up. Get some air here. I need some, too, after sitting next to you. Nice dodge there. Look out, look out. This could be it. That's it. He's done. Cooper here. And the shoulders up. And the match continues. I love this. You know, it's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in his tank. The mission hole locked in, and he's in big trouble. Great hole being applied. If he keeps this up, this one will be over in no time. Whoa! And he fights his way out. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. <laughs> Man, that's what you call swinging for the fences and missing. Going for broke. Incredible. This has to be it. And momentum has changed hands once more. He sees it. This may settle the score right here. That's it. It's over. It's over. We're looking at complete domination here. Oh! Be enough for the win. Going top rope once more. Look out, Bobo! Look out! Oh, he moved out of the way the last moment. Good lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark. How much more? How much more are you? Look out! Remember those belts on the outside? Think about this, Michael. There's nothing between these guys and the floor but your imagination. Well, if that chain link gives much more, we're not going to need to use our imagination. Oh, wow. Also, these are quick matches. Whether you like it or not, there's the match. He escaped the cage. He wins. There was no love lost in that match. And look at the impact in these highlights. Oh, wow. This is weird. These are some really short matches. The only problem is now Liam has to vacate his NXT championship belt. So, next thing we'll have really a bunch of NXT people on. That'll be interesting. I'll have to figure out what to do with the NXT Championship. I'll remember that one for a long time. Oh, did I change this drop color? I guess I did. That's a good looking belt. That's a good looking character I made. <laughs> That's a good creation, La Luchadora. La oh, Luchadora. That's a good looking, that is a good looking character. I'll give myself credit, I spent very little time with this. Wait, who's this? <laughs> In black and white. It's an old-timey film, folks.
<laughs> Forget what I gave her name. Yeah, she G Heather. Georgia. Good girl, Heather. This one's gonna be electric. Thank you everybody for tuning in to another great episode <laughs> oh. of the main event. We're about to get this next match underway. Wow, this has been, these are these have been short matches. This is an inferno match too. Someone's getting set on fire. That is a good looking belt. I'll give it that much. I spent my time making that belt. That belt looks amazing. Flower, naked woman silhouette, the big heart in the middle, with embellishments. This is an inferno match. A superstar gets a certain feeling when he knows there's a strong possibility he may exit the match in a completely different condition than he entered. That's not exactly a comforting thought when it's your career. You know, after all the pre-match hype, I expect this one to be one for the ages. Michael, don't forget the best part. We've got divas. On oh, another thing, one competitor is risking the title, and another is looking to claim it. Oh, this couldn't be better. Guys, let's briefly discuss the challenger. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Oh, wow, that was actually pretty good. Fly. Look at those flames go up. Oh, she has to get up. Wait a second. I was never good at these matches for some reason. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there. But only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? Are we going to see it? She's on the defensive now, but you certainly cannot count her out yet. Regardless, we and the rest of the WWE world are in for a night to remember. Here we go. Yet another one for the highlight reel. Matchups like this have been a staple of main events since the program's debut back in 2012. Nice dodge there. I am not doing good this time. Only a bit of damage inflicted so far in this one. We know what this is! Standing Spanish fly again! I think, wait a second, I think that's all of her... Oh, vicious! No! It's been another great edition of Main Event. Thank you for joining us tonight. Well, that 
was a wild strike. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, it looked like it was completely out of desperation. Yet another one for the highlight reel. Oh, that has got to be it. The damage has been done. This is not at all how she threw this thing up, guys. But hey, I have a feeling the WWE Universe is in for a treat tonight. Incredible. This has to be it. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. Oh, wow. That was quick. Here are some Who's booking this stuff? Why are these matches so quick? So unsatisfying. Wow. Well, that was pretty cool, though. I, I did get a never give up. I got two trophies too. I got a comeback and a never give up. Oh, vicious leg DDT there. That was it. Uh oh. Let's see, there's four of them now. Okay, so I know, the next, I know what the next future match is going to be. Oh, I'll, I'll see you raise the belt. Goody, goody, Heather won. Look at that. Like the full bicep. Yes. That is a darn good looking belt. Oh, did I strip him with the US title? Good. He doesn't know the US title. That's actually really cool though. No music, just like a true hobo. His, his white underwear, his white briefs. And look at that, look at that messed up face, the scruffy beard, all that body hair, oh, so unkept is Hobo Tom. Wow, he looks like a true hobo, even with that tattoo, I mean, just, just, just a total mess. Total hobo just comes out, yeah, whatever, I, I, can't, afford, I can't afford entrance music. And, and well, I mean, here, here's my one pair of clothes I own. But I have this nice looking championship belt though, I'm just going to show it off to everyone. Oh yeah, there we go. Anyway, my big tattoo I got, I don't know, what was on? Who's this? <laughs> it comes out horribly. Jeez. He can't afford a mask, so he uses a paper bag. That's awesome. Wow, he has more clothes than Hobo Tom. And how does El Vagabundo Dos Hobo afford music? Whoa, Pyro. I don't even think he, he knew what was coming on then. But yeah, that's right. Showed yourself in the video. Oh, vagabundo dos hobo! You know he's a hobo. Well, Hobo Tom. Hobo Tom needs that sign. Wait, wait a second. Hobo Tom needs a shirt. Maybe Hobo Tom will get a shirt and look, look at that. Look at that old vagabundo dos hobo. What a dirty, dirty person. Both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Yeah, and social media has been on fire ahead of this one. But now it's time to get down to the kiss of the hobo. Yeah, I'm recording this. As the attacker fighting to get back to his feet, and he does. What's it gonna take to keep the one reversal? He reversed the hobo choke. 
with this kind of attack, you have to wonder just how much longer they compete in this match. Yeah, I completely agree. The way things are going in there, I'd say not much longer. My gosh, this is a beating. Here we go with the count. He's got 10 seconds to get back up to his feet.
We're not done yet. How in the world is he still standing? Well, I don't know. This is absolutely amazing. Unbelievable. He's standing back up. <laughs> this is unreal, Michael. Oh, he missed. Oh, nobody hold that time. This is dangerous. I gotta be honest. I hope this is it, Kane. These guys have done so much harm to each other. There's no quit in these guys, but unfortunately only one of them can be victorious here tonight. Come on, this is ridiculous. Those are our notes you're stepping on. This is our workspace here. We're, we're surrounded by ruffians here, apparently. Well, we had our material for tonight's broadcast. Oh, well. What the? You know, I've had about... Hey, he's going for it again. Oh, oh this could be the end. That's it. He's done. He's down. And now the official begins the count. Fighting to get back to his feet. And he does. What's it going to take to keep these guys down? Fighting to get back to his feet. And he does. What's it going to take to keep these guys down? Deep town right now. As the aggressor, you're praying. Yet another one for the highlight reel. Just a few more moments, and this is over. Fighting to get back to his feet, and he does. What's it going to take to keep these guys down? And he makes it back to his feet. In this match, will resume. Oh, this may very well end it. Ooh, ooh, what the? What the fuck is this? Is it? This one's over. He wants to. If that doesn't do it, then what will? If you asked me at the beginning of the night, I'd tell you that there was no way this title reign was coming to an end. But now, I'm not so sure. The challenger just refuses to be denied here tonight. What a win! Man, he's got to feel great. A big moment. The heck did I lose that? That was bad. Did I make him too good? The other people are too soft, well, of course, they went to a table. Wow. That was weird, folks. New Under the Bridge Champion. Here's your winners and new Gold Coast Classic Grand Prix Professional Wrestling Champion, Dirty. He gets a victory here tonight. Love him or hate him, that was an incredible match. And, and looking back, and by then, I have to go tacos. Hey, welcome again to Cooking with Hobo Tom. My name is Hobo Tom, and tonight, because it is a little bit of a ce celebratory night, I'm going to have a little bit of a feast. That's because I have managed to get 2,000 views on the Hobo and Girlfriend Wrestling Web Page Podcast thing. So tonight I'm going to make homemade double stuffed Tacos, I think that's what they were somewhat advertising at Taco Bell. A nice little alcoholic beverage, because again, when you're doing cel celebratory things, it's always fun to do. First thing, so kind of my whole list of ingredients. Um, instead of beef, I like, gonna have some nice sausage with it. I have my white queso, again, you can use yellow queso, doesn't matter. Brand. You should always have shredded lettuce. Shredded lettuce is very good. In fact, I should see if I have, Ooh, I have my spicy pico de gallo. Then I'm a hobo. I have my taco blended cheese already. 
Um, you can use whatever taco shells you want. I think the Taco Bell shells were on sale. And of course I have the soft tortilla sh shells. The first thing I'm going to do is that here. Oh, whoa, shoot. Thing exploded. It's not good. The first thing, let's see, bad happened in the kitchen. I made a whole mess. That, you, know what? you always have to brown off the sausage first. Again, skillet, oven. Mmm, bad. It's a little bit of all of it. that. It's kind of, kind of be really basic. I mean, it's like taco night, like having taco Tuesday. Except for there's no Taco Tuesday, though. It's Taco Wednesday. I can't believe that whole mix spilled on the freaking countertop. Though. Yeah, I'm doing a little bit of behind the behind the action work. So we get the broom a little bit, sweep this stuff out. But while we're doing that, again, very simply, it's telling you can use whatever meat you feel like. I just figured this would be something a little bit different than, than trying to season stuff up. That's already somewhat seasoned. Very simply. Make sure you take that off. Into the pan it goes. Ooh, the pan, the pan. Again, don't forget to wash your hands. If you're handling raw pork, who knows what things live in raw pork. And then while that's happening, well, kind of sweeping, you can't. I mean, sweeping is sweeping. You're not missing much, trust me. The heck is that glass? I don't even know what the heck that was. Should sweep this floor more often anyway. Up the door it goes. Cooking. Can you hear it sizzling a little bit? It's going to take a while. And wash my hands. I'm in my, I'm in my kind of hobo wear. While that's happening, so four minutes. Take. I don't know how many I'm going to need. So I'm just going to open this up a little bit. And you can use whatever brand you want. Again, I just chose the cheapest ones. I think at the time, the cheat cheese. I think these are like a buck and a quarter for a whole bunch. And they're fairly decent size, so they should cover the tacos. We'll see in a moment. I like to warm them up a little bit. Makes them a little bit more pliable. And as you can probably hear, sausage is browning the pan. And I just want to make sure I got this right size stuff. If not, this is going to be really interesting. These are all at least somewhat intact. I know there's always going to be broken taco shells. And the majority of them seem intact. And actually, I think this is the right. This might be actually the right size. I don't care if they're the Taco Bell season one. Then you have your classic taco. Oh wow, that's gonna look perfect. That's that's gonna fit nicely, I think. Yep, so I got the right size. So I'm gonna start browning off meat. It's kind of very simple. So I'll put that over here on top of this spicy pico de gallo. All I do. Again, I always like to have the right tool for the right purpose. No matter what you use, this is just kind of metal. And the reason I use it, cut it up, make it a little finer.
And if you have a metal spatula, that will work just as good. And all my spatulas are kind of plastic, so as you can tell, and you always scrape the pan off because you don't want it to stick too much. So that's just a pain to clean up. Again, you can then do the two-handed method, so a cheesesteak style. Again, by Philly cheesesteak style, if you've ever seen people make real Philly cheesesteaks, this is kind of what they do with cheesesteak meat. Not steakums, that's a whole other ballgame, a whole other debate. So you're going to let this cook. Again, keep these tools separate from everything else. And I'm looking back, and by then, I start to build tacos. Bye. So I guess the good thing about having taco night is that it's really a pretty quick cook once you have the meat starting to brown off. You have to do anything to grill. And it's a little bit of a special night. Again, 2,000 views. But as always, I do like to celebrate just a little bit. And again, always celebrate responsibly. Got some nice bourbon here. And I want to go for a little feel, so it's going to be some nice little grapefruit soda. There's a little bit of a di difference there. Again, always have your nice frosty glass of ice. You can see the sausage steaming on the other side, so that will be done probably in another minute or two. We'll get back to that and build taco again. One, two, three, four, five, six. A little six count there. Probably pretty fast again. It's not one of those things you want to make super stiff, super strong. And I have to wake up. Tomorrow, go to work a little bit early, so it's not like I want to get absolutely destroyed. Let's see how nice and light and refreshing that looks. You know when I had the black cherry rum with black with cherry lemonade? Wow, that was refreshing. Again, a nice little good looking drink. Yeah, everything was done cooking. I kind of experimented a little bit. Sausage is all bronzed up. All my ingredients are open. Just kind of experiment a little bit. I wanted to figure out what would be the best method to make, again, double layer tacos. So I have that for that. Very simply, I take one of my warmed up soft tortillas. Take about a good scoopful, spoonful, queso, probably a little bit more than that. I think it was more last time. So I'll say two spoonfuls of that. And only just spread like pizza sauce the way you would a pizza. And you want to leave a little bit around the edges. Just because when you put your taco in then, then you just kind of fit your taco in there. Fold it up. You'll see it makes this nice little, very creamy little container with that. And I made one. I wanted to figure out how, how to actually do this first. Probably show people how to do it. Then again, in your little taco boat. And you can, of course, determine how much you want to put in. I like at least have a nice little layer. I'll show you what I mean by a little layer of meat. Nice little layer of meat. Then I always like to go lettuce on top of that. And just kind of poke it in. Hot, spicy, pico de gallo, preferably more tomatoes. I think the good thing about this is that whatever I have left over, I'll probably actually just save for a salad tomorrow. So that's not, that's actually pretty healthy sounding. Lettuce, stuff, maybe some cheese on there. And I'll take the top off the good healthy layer of cheese. And just keep on making to your heart, heart's content. I have not eaten all day, so I'm probably going to make a whole bunch of them. I'll show you guys then what the end product looks like. And I'll just... Oh, hello. And then, again, remember, it's as many or as few as you want. Again, I haven't eaten all day, so I have my nice yummy, yummy taco plate, my yummy drink. I'd like to thank everyone for their viewership. Again, I think my next milestone is going to be 100 hours. And I'll see everyone then. Please enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the wrestling I put on display tonight. And I hope you enjoyed the cooking show. Thank you very much. Again, don't forget to share, like, comment, subscribe. And feel free to hobo at feel free to email at hoboandgirlfriend at gmail.com. Thanks guys. Bye.